Ah, yes. Professional sports and the playoffs. Every professional sport from the NFL, MLB, NBA, NHL, college sports, they all have their own unique playoff format. I think that gives us a unique opportunity to explore what sports would be like with a different format. Here's a quick glance at what the NFL playoffs look like. And now here's a peek at what the NBA playoffs look like. And with the flick of my wrist, voila, that same NBA playoff bracket now turns into the NFL. A couple quick notable differences. There's a play-in tournament in the NBA. So the last couple spots are determined by the seventh seed playing the eighth seed and the ninth seed playing the 10th seed. As you can tell, the one seed does not get a buy on either side. The biggest difference of all is the NBA plays in a best of seven format, whereas the NFL is just a one and done. Let's get started with the playing games. First up, Saints versus Vikings. You all have been crushing it lately, and because of the support, I'm giving away two copies of EA College Football. 18 seconds left. They're taking far too long to get down this field, but they do fine. Looks like Justin Jefferson for six. That's cool and all, but they got to get the onside kick as he glitches his way in the Madden end zone. Sweet. Saints winning this one, they'll have to play the loser of the Packers Seattle to get that final eighth seed spot in the playoffs. Packers Seahawks, Packers going into victory formation. Jordan Love and the guys hold on for the win against the Seahawks. They're going to go play the Dallas Cowboys. So that'll be a two seed versus seven seed matchup. And now the Seahawks on the brink of elimination need to go play the winner of New Orleans Vikings. Seahawks, Saints fighting for their playoff life in the play-in tournament. Uh, the winner here goes on to the NFL playoffs, and the Seahawks are doing it in a big way. 38-10. Saints aren't even trying to take timeouts as this one is out of reach. Okay, updated look at the playoff bracket. NFC is set. Seahawks are in. Packers are in. Now let's go see who wins on the AFC play-in tournament. Seventh seed, Steelers taking on the eighth seed, Bengals. Third and seven, Rudolph looking again, throwing a wobbling ball, but that's caught by Pickens for six. This is a bit late in the game with 39 seconds left and no timeouts. All right, it comes down to this, another onside kick. I feel like we've already seen a few of these in the short amount of time we've been doing it, but the Bengals recover, and with that, this ball game is over. Bengals get a spot in the playoffs. Fourth and six, the Jaguars are punting with 10 seconds left in this game. It really comes down to this punt return. Will the Colts that run into the punter get a chance to win it? And that roughing the kicker call proves costly. They don't even get a chance to take a return. Jaguars are going to hold on to the dub. Winding down to the final minute of action in this one. Jaguars in Pittsburgh trying to score to get a final chance at that eighth seed as Lawrence delivers a ball. What a touchdown. Evan Ingram. Oh no, Zay Jones. Looked like 17 for a second, but Jones with a big catch for six. Here's the onside kick. And it's unsuccessful once again. The AI is like 0 for 4 on onside kick so far. And like that, the playoffs are set. Here's a quick look at the NFC. Here's a quick look at the AFC. Technically, the Bengals are the seventh seed, and technically the Steelers are the eighth seed. But like I said, I kept the real-life seeding just in place for your reference. Game one is going to go to the Niners. Game two seems to be going the Seahawks' way, but can the Niners drive? Nope. Game over. Game three winding down. Seahawks got the lead. Can the Niners drive and score? No. Seahawks take a 2-1 lead. Game four is a tight one, just a one-score game. Who is going to come out on top? This looks like the Niners take it to 2-2. Game five is all San Fran as they're going to take the 3-2 lead on the series. Game six action, Seattle fighting for their lives. They're going to walk away victorious and force game seven. Game seven, it all comes down to this. Brock Purdy and the Niners are fighting for their lives to get back into this game with 32 seconds left, down by five against the Seahawks. This is an upset brewing in the making. Third and nine, we need Big Brock to dial something up. He's going for it. He has got a uke for a first down, first in 10 in the red zone. Niner fans, it all comes down to this. Seahawks fans, it all comes down to this. Fourth and 10, one seed versus eight seed action. Nowhere to go in the Seahawks. Get the turnover in the red zone. Brock and the Niners are defeated. Unbelievable. One seed upset already in the NBA playoffs version of the NFL. 
This is crazy. Seahawks are going to upset the one seed, and the eighth seed is moving on. Seahawks in real life, a team that didn't even make the playoffs, but win in the play-in game, just upset the one seed. Bucks, Eagles in game one, and it's all Eagles in this one. 38-3, they get the dub. Game two is much closer as this one's winding down to the end. Tie ball game, OT action. Who's going to come away victorious? Is it going to be the Eagles? Is it going to be the Bucks? The Bucks. Game three, defense doing a lot of the talking. 21-14, Bucks. Who's going to come out on top? Bucks take the 2-1 lead. Game four, Bucks up by six. Eagles take the late lead with a touchdown, but the field goal for the Bucks. Not enough as the Eagles get one of their own and win it. Game five, Bucks have been trying to overcome a deficit for a while, but the Eagles just too much. Game six, seven seven, low scoring with a minute twenty left. Bucks go for the three pointer, nail it. They're up by three. Hurt second and four across the middle. Finds Goddard. First down. Here's the big kick. Ten seconds. It's a sixty one yard field goal. He no good. Oh, he could not hit it. Elliott in disbelief flopping onto the ground. Bucks are going to win game six and force game seven. Game seven is in the Eagles' favor as the Bucks are down by two touchdowns. Just looking to do anything with their last gasp of garbage time. But really with 30 seconds and, and no timeouts, Baker just goes deep, throwing anything up there. And yeah, that's not going to land. So Eagles are going to advance to the next round. Game one in Motor City, back and forth between Stafford and Goff. Lions up by three. Looks like they get the dub. Game two has mostly been all Lions action. The Rams have overcome a deficit, but not overcome enough as Lions take the second game. Game three in Detroit. Rams take it. 2-1. Game four looks like at this rate, the Rams are going to come back and tie the series up 2-2. Two two. Game five is a dog fight as they go back and forth to the very end. Lions pull away. Game six, Detroit is one minute and 10 seconds away from securing their spot to the next round in the playoffs. As Goff drop back to the throw, the aggressive Lions don't get it. Fourth down, they're going to settle for three, but as you can see by the score, they're up by two touchdowns. This game is over. Lions 31, Rams 14. That does it. Game one, is it finally Dem Boys' year? They are winning this one and getting the 1 0 lead in the series. Game two has mostly been all the Cowboys as well. Packers, what is going on as Dallas takes the 2 0 lead? Game three is a close one, but the Dallas Cowboys seal it there and go up 3 0 in the series. Second and seven, two minute warning is here. Dak and the Cowboys, can they finish off a sweep against the Packers? I mean, leave it to Madden to be the only place where the Cowboys can get this type of playoff success. No timeouts for Love and the Pack. They need to get something going quick, and that is a good first strike. But this ain't college football. The clock doesn't stop on the first down. So uh, with no timeouts, though, this is literally got to be a hurry up to the line and take one final shot. 10, 9, 8, pretty much the final shot here. Love just going to need to chuck one up Hail Mary style. And he got a man, and he was that close. This close from breaking it, but uh, unfortunately for the pack, Dallas Cowboys go 4-0, sweep the series in this best of seven mode, and uh, advance in the playoffs. Okay, the NFC side of the NBA playoffs are set. Now let's take a look at the AFC round one matchups. Game one, Ravens like rolling without a doubt, 49 zip. Game two, once again, Steelers having a hard time mustering any offense up. They win. Ravens. Rudolph was held to 89 passing yards in that last game, and it sure as heck looks like he was held for a lot less in this one. 38-5. Game four, Ravens looking for that win to seal the sweep. Steelers defense did play a little bit closer, but honestly, it's going to be wraps here. No matter what I feel like the Ravens do, just based on the time. Lamar just gets in victory formation. Takes the final kneel down. That's going to do it. The clock's going to dwindle out. Ravens sweep the Steelers in advance. Game one looks to be in the Browns' favor as they're going to walk away with the early lead in the series. The Texans lost with the dome closed in the last one. So game two, they open the dome and it goes their favor 1-1. Game three, Texans putting in work once more as they walk away with a 2-1 lead. Game four is a battle as the Browns take a lead. Texans tie it up. One minute left. We're going to OT. Who's going to win it? Texans do. Game five, Browns get their revenge, and they go back into the series with a win. Three to two, Texans. 
second and five Stroud in the Texans at midfield. If they can get in field goal position and, and hit the field goal, they win and they'll advance to the next round of the playoffs. Game six action intercepted Stroud throws a big pick to Emerson Jr. Flacco and co are in position to get themselves down to field goal range just like that hitting Njoku very fast and uh, they can walk away victorious in force game seven here. Brown's going to kick the three-point field goal attempt and nails it. Game seven is here, and it looks like it's all Houston as they're going to walk away victorious and head to the next round. I don't think Madden's taking into account the Taylor Swift effect, but hey, it's not going to stop the Chiefs here. They're up 1-0. Game two looks to be le much less cold than that one in real life, and Dolphins will come out and split the series 1-1. Game three, this one's all tied up. Who's going to walk away victorious? It's going to be the Chiefs. Chiefs with a 2-1 series lead. Dolphins have the slight edge up by eight. Chiefs with no time left. Can't cash in. Game five down to the final second. Finns up. Game six. Chiefs were pretty ticked about dropping that last one as they dropped 42 on the Dolphins and even it up 3-3. Game seven's been an exciting one. Second and 11. T minus one minute to go. Chiefs down by three. Going to the end zone. Ramsey with the diving swat. No good there for the Chiefs as he steps up and gets sacked. Wilkins drops him. This is going to inevitably lead the Chiefs to take a field goal. And uh, this might, game might go OT, potentially. Second and 10. Dolphins. I just came back and what is this? Six. What is that? A-chain for the win? Chiefs fans, your season comes down to this. Fourth and 10. It's no good. Deflected by the DB in the Dolphins hold for the win. In overtime, Chiefs go home. Dolphins advance. Best of seven thriller all the way down to the wire. Game one in Buffalo is actually heading Cincinnati's way, so they'll take the early series lead. Game two is upon us, and Buffalo is pulling away for the win. Series all tied up 1-1. Fourth quarter action. Buffalo scores late. That's going to pretty much do it. Game four, Buffalo pulling away. Bengals strike quick, but it's just not enough. That's game. After dropping game one, Buffalo has won three straight, but uh, they're going to actually seal it there. No, Bengals with the last second score. Did not see that coming. They take a win. Game five, 29 all. A lot on the line here. Buffalo wins. They'll win the series. 50 seconds to go. He's dropping back on second down. Third and inches, just outside of field goal range. Buffalo wants to get into field goal range, handing it off to Cook. First down. This is no sure thing. It has a 50-yard field goal to send the Bills to the next round. It is not an easy task. He's up, and it's good. Nailed it. Bills are going to go to the next round. What an exciting first round. The field is all set on the NFC and AFC side. We got a few big matchups coming in the second round. We're going to kick it off with Seahawks, the eighth seed, spoiling the Niners and taking on the Eagles, who actually got past the Buccaneers this time. The best of seven is underway with game one coming down to the wire. Seahawks score, get a 10-point lead, and take the first one. Game two, Geno's got this offense cooking. It's a close one still. That insurance drive seals it. Game three, Seattle with a slight lead, three-point field goal, and touchdown to win it. 3-0 in the series. What's going on? Eagles win. Eagles fresh off a of victory. Looking to get another one. They go up. Another win. Bringing it within a couple. Game six. Eagles have their back against the wall. All the way back at the nine on their own side. Just need to get something going here. A field goal to tie it up would be great. Hurts with his legs. Keeps it and fumbles. And the Seahawks defender is going to take that to the house. And that right there is going to seal Seattle's victory and take them to the next next round. Like, their, their miracle run keeps going. Unbelievable. Seahawks, the eighth seed, winning the play-in game, beating, upsetting the Niners. Now, upsetting the Eagles are getting to the championship game. What? Game one, boys, Lions. See who can come out on top. It looks like it'll be them boys. Game two in Arlington. Them boys up big again. They're going to go up 2-0 in the series. Game three. Cowboys up by eight. Make it 11. It's official. Madden likes to glaze the Cowboys. And I'm a Cowboys fan. 
bro, I'm a Cowboys fan, and they glaze in out here. EA Sports and their sim have Dallas just rolling to another sweep over the Lions. We swept the Packers. Now we're going to sweep the Lions. So it's official. The NFC Championship game is set. Seahawks headed to Dallas. The winner of that game goes to the Super Bowl. Game one, Texans, Ravens, Texans up, but the Ravens drive down the field. Texans with the game-winning touchdown. Stroud and the boys take game one. Game two has mainly been the Ravens, but Texans coming back a little bit late. A minute to do anything. No, sir. Ravens win. The series is 1-1, but game three looks like it's going to go to the Ravens' way, and they're up 2-1 to one in this series. It's 2-1 Ravens as this one winds down. It's all tied up. Ravens go up by three and do it. It's game five, man, and the Ravens just feel like one of these teams that if the NBA playoff format was actually in the NFL, Ravens would be one of the hardest teams to knock out. Game one looks to be going the Bills' way, but the Dolphins do have a chance. Nope, not going to work. Bills up one. Game two, Bills taking the lead by 17. Make it 21. That's game. Game three, this is a big one for the Dolphins. They need to win here to have any chance at the series. 30 seconds left. That's game. Dolphins get one. Dolphins putting a whooping on the Bills. 24-0. Shut out. It's a tie series. Game five, it's a low-scoring battle again, but the Buffalo Bills are going to pull away. Dolphins down by nine with no timeouts. 46 seconds to go. Bills did their job today, and it looks like they're just one second away from going to the championship game it's championship weekend we got the matchups seahawks cowboys ravens bills let's go check out the nfc seahawks cowboys game first game one cowboys are dominating they look like the complete package they have yet to lose in the playoffs and they're up 1-0 in this series as well i swear i didn't rig this i don't know why the cowboys are doing so good i'm a cowboys fan and the Sim is just absolutely riding them. 10-0 on playoffs already. What? Game three. Boys are up by seven. I'd just like to see the Seahawks get a win. And there we go. We're going OT. I want the Seahawks to continue the miracle run. But the boys are up 3-0. I wish I had answers for what the heck is going on here in Dallas. As we're up by seven with a minute 30 seconds left. About to go a perfect 12-0 in the playoffs, but uh, Seahawks get the stop and they'll at least get a chance on offense. 50 seconds left. Geno dropping back. He's got another strike. That one's picked off. Gilmore seals this game for Dallas. And these Cowboys are the complete package apparently on offense and defense according to Madden 24. Now this AFC Championship Series should be a really good matchup here on paper. Bills are going to take game one. Game two, winding down. Ravens take a late lead and some insurance points. They're going to even this, this series up. Game three has really been all Buffalo, so it looks like they're going to cruise their way to a 2-1 series lead. Game four is a battle. Buffalo takes a late lead. Ravens get it back. Ravens for the win, 2-2. Game five is another crazy tight one here. Buffalo has the edge. Down by two. Buffalo pulls away. Game six, Ravens up by one, now make it eight. Ravens force this thing to game seven. As I suspected, this series has been insane, as that draw play is a big one for nine. Baltimore just needs three points to tie it and go to OT, but they got all their timeouts, and honestly, if they push it, they could score and win this game. Justin Tucker and the Ravens are just going to settle for three. Let's see if they can cash in here with one of the most accurate kickers in the league. Yep, they got it. A minute 10 left. They got at least, no, fourth down. See what he can do with it as he scrambles and gets outside the pocket. Big run. Wow. What a play to evade defenders. He's, he's like that. He's like that. Baltimore content with giving their kicker a chance with a 42-yard field goal on second and seven in double OT. Tucker kicks. Good. Ravens win and go to the Super Bowl on that kick right there. An epic Best of seven battle falls into the Ravens' lap. Victory for Lamar and the Ravens. They're going to the Super Bowl. We coming at you with Super Bowl 53 action here. Boys, Ravens. What would the NBA playoffs look like in the NFL? Well, you have your answer. Madden has spoken. It's the Cowboys. It's the Ravens in a best of seven Super Bowl matchup here. 
Game one is heading down to the wire. Ravens take the late lead, but Dak and the boys get a game-tying field goal. OT, Cowboys score. Ravens score. Who's going to come away victorious? It's the Cowboys. They win game one. Game two is here, and it's all boys. 31-3. What in the world? Cowboys are a perfect 14-0 in the NBA-style playoffs. All right, fourth quarter, game three. Boys up by one. A few minutes left. Can the Ravens hold on? They do. Wow. Giving them their first loss. The Ravens are up in this one and hold on by a one-point margin. This series is all tied up to two. Game five, the boys are rocking and rolling. And, man, I'm the first to admit, as a Cowboys fan, I love to see it, but uh, someone in Madden has got to adjust the sliders or the overalls or something. I, I, this is... This is so, like, it hurts. It hurts. <laughs> Game six is here. Dallas pass midfield, looking to drive and at least get a game tying field goal, if not a touchdown. Fourth and five, Dallas is kicking a monster 61 yard field goal. If they miss this, game seven is inevitable. But Aubrey with a big leg missed it, shanked it, pulled it left, and the Ravens get a big stop and win. This is going to get to go to game seven. I can't believe it. <laughs> Cowboys up by 12 with a minute left. The Cowboys are really going to go and win the Super Bowl in the NBA format playoffs. Um, I am speechless. Super Bowl on the line. Fourth and inches for the Ravens with just 40 seconds left in the game. Cowboys are up by 12. Lamar keeps it on the option and he is gone. Oh my goodness, that's that Lamar speed right there. And hold the press, maybe an onside kick recovery can make a world of difference, but geez Louise. Justin Tucker, Ravens need a big onside kick here. Can they deliver? Nope. Cowboys secure the ball, and that is going to do it. The 2023-24 Dallas Cowboys are Super Bowl champs. And that's it. The final second off the clock. Dallas, Super Bowl champs at long last. They haven't won since I've been alive. And the Cowboys bring it home in the best of seven NBA playoff format. So shoot, I'm, I'm a Cowboys fan. I'm going to keep it a buck. Let's bring the NBA playoffs over to the NFL. I'm cool with that if this is the result. It's been fun. It's been real. It's been King Sponge. I enjoy bringing you all this video. Hope you enjoyed. You hope you have your answers. I look forward to bringing each and every one of you some more content down the road. So keep it real. Keep it a buck. It's been King Sponge, and we out of here. Yee! Hope I'm on my way. I'm coming.